Hey, everybody. Sorry about that. I had to restart. It said that my video was bad. I needed to reconnect my router, which I did. I don't know. Don't see anybody on there. But anyway, trying this again. I'm so happy to be back home in my nice little studio, even though it's a mess. Oh, I see somebody. Okay, you guys are good. You're going to find me, I hope. I hope this is better. I'm not getting that alert now that says bad stream. Okay. Oh, good. You can say hi, Tiffany. Thank you for coming back. Great. Hey, Diane. Hi, Gina. Does it look okay now? I'm not getting that alert thing. So I think I'm good. I don't know what happened there. But yeah, Amy, I went away for one, two weeks and forget it. <laughs> Thankfully, it worked yesterday. Good on YouTube. Okay. There I am. Blue face, blue smiling. Okay. <laughs> That's good. Brilliant. Okay. Hi, Hazel. Thanks, Sherry. Hi, Karen. You switched over to YouTube. Okay. Thanks, everybody. All right. We'll, we'll all connect. Hi, Liz. 103. Good Lord. That is way too hot. Ugh. Oh, it's, you know, honestly, I haven't been outside today. I'm still trying to uh, unpack, unload, figure out where to put everything. Um, hey, Anne, how are you? I was just up your way, Anne. I was in Connecticut. Hi, Juliana. Looking good. Okay. You, oh, Rekka, that's so good to see you. You are not a bad influence. You never could be. Hi, Gina. You always watch on YouTube. Okay. Oh, hey, Gwen. How are you? Teresita, you found me again. Hi, Bernice. Yes, it's crazy. I don't know what happened there. Really, I. Uh, that's a new one. And it's not on me. Not my fault. <laughs> so anyway, once again, I guess you heard me, but you didn't see me. Okay. Were you at a store? No, I was at my ba my uh, daughter's. I was babysitting. My, my husband and I watched the uh, the four kids. One with a cast, uh, with a house that had an exploded toilet, and so we couldn't stay there. We had to be in a camper. We were there for half the time. Then we went back to the house because we found out that the workers were not there, which my daughter forgot to tell me. Anyway. We potty trained Catherine all the way, so that's good. We're famous now. We can claim that. Uh, she is a piece of work. <laughs> they all are. They all have their ways. Hi, Birgit. Birgit? I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. Hi, from Maine. Oh, good. Oh, welcome. Good to see you. Yeah, we're having some technical issues. Yeah. And then the worst thing, when they got back, Jason had COVID. So one had to be at the camper and one had to be at the house. Oh, thank you, Karen. Yeah. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, that'd be nice. Uh, let's see. Yes. It's always the worst part. Isabel, I agree. Horrible, stressful. Um, yeah. Oh yeah. It was great fun. And, <laughs> uh, but the good news is they found a house. Oh, there's Charlotta. Okay, now we can officially begin. She's back. Um, we found They found a house that they can live in for six months while they're repairing all the water damage, which it is a mess. They were showing me like there was, they had a subfloor and then um, it's like it, it was molded under that in just a week. Oh, Tiffany, I'm so sorry. Yeah, he was at a convention in Las Vegas, and they all got it. And when they got home, they were all messaging each other that they had it. But luckily, uh, Jess doesn't, or the kids, because they're in the camper. So anyway, I was glad to get out of there, too. So we are back home. It was a, a long drive, but we're back. And uh, I'm so happy to have my stuff and have a place. The worst thing was there was no like couch to go sit on and relax. You know, we were on these kitchen chairs the whole time. Anyway, it was fine. Everyone survived and I think they still like us. So uh, we're back. 
Yes, I know. Isn't that weird? It is coming back. It's 70 in Ayrshire, Scotland. Okay. I am very happy to be home, Belinda. It was fun. It really was. We did a lot of fun stuff. We saw the Turtles movie. We <laughs> we had ice cream. We My mom came and my sister. So that was good. Anyway, we're here. Back to work because there is lots going on. I'm designing to do this week. There's a lot I want to show you. Um, I wanted to say I've got a big list. Uh, congratulations to the winners of the Cherry on Top Challenge. I think they were amazing and you guys did a great job. Congratulations. Um, Mom is doing okay, but she did have a little incident. She did not want to get out of the car because my sister got there late and she doesn't like to drive in the dark and Ayrshire. Okay. Ayrshire, Karen, or Ayrshire? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, we finally got her out, but she was screaming. She was not happy to be in the car, and she was clinging on to the uh, little, you know, the armrests, would not let go. We finally got her in the hotel, but Anyway, she was fine the next day. I think it was just too late and too much for her. So it, that was hard either. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that was another whole adventure. But she loved seeing the kids. And I got some really nice pictures. Your mom used to do that too. I mean, she just could not even talk. She was just like yelling. But I think she was frustrated that she couldn't tell us. She didn't want to get out. And ugh, I don't know. We just, we got in, we got mom in and we ate a bag of cheese doodles. <laughs> we were so stressed out. Uh, anyway, <laughs> they were delicious. Uh, okay, so what else? What else is going on? I know that some of you guys have your scrapbook.com dies. Are you sharing them in the, uh, in the group? Because we want to see what you're making. Also, I have a beautiful card from Madeline. Isn't that pretty? That is what she was telling us about this, that she and her grandkids did water marbling. And that is the background paper. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. It's beautiful. And she used the snail mail dye. And these are some of the new flowers from the envelope pocket. Or wait, what is that one? Envelope folder. And flowers, excuse me. And then this is one from scrapbook.com. So see how you can use them all together? Isn't that fun? All right, we're going to have fun today with envelopes, but just let me get through these other things. Um, also, we didn't even talk about the trip to Ohio. That was great. I got to meet a lot of new people, and we may, oh no, frozen again. Ah, don't say that. Sheila, are you the only one? I hope, I don't have any note in here that this is, Oh, hey, Rita, how are you? Water marbling. I don't think it was alcohol links. I'm not sure how she did it. It was a uh, it was a kit that the kids had gotten, and I thought the colors were really pretty. Okay, that must be you, Sheila. I would go out and refresh and come back. Also, if anyone has not joined the fan club, if you have your phone nearby, I want to know if this works. If you take your phone and you focus on that. Does it bring you to the fan club? It should. Okay. You probably all are in it. But anyway, if you haven't joined, join and you could do it that fun way. Uh, okay. So, oh, one sad thing. We were driving home and I had all of my watercolor stuff because I did a good bit of it at night just to kind of calm down and relax. <laughs> and Oh, the QR code works. Thanks, Ruby Lily. Oh, good. Well, join. If you want to join, um, just make sure that you answer the questions. Okay. Thanks, Ulrika. Oh, good to see. All right. Hey, Dorothy. So anyway, I had my stuff in this little kind of fabric basket and it fell over. We stopped to uh, do something and I think I dropped my watercolors out. I got all the ones that I had made and my brushes but when I got home, I could not find them. And I think we might have run them over, which makes me so sad. So somewhere in Pennsylvania, 
I have a squash thing of watercolors. Anyway, I went out and bought a new set. I just couldn't stand to be without them. I love this set. It's a, uh, I don't have it right on me, but it's a Windsor and Newton and it's 24 colors. I really like it. And so I, I went and got another one, but then I had to re swatch it and re, you know, start it again. Anyway. Yeah. I want to get, I want to get some new colors too. So I have room in there for 36, I think. So that's another sad thing. Oh, the other thing is, you're not going to believe what I got. It's the new trimmer from Sizzix. And so I was going to use this today in my project and kind of go through what all is on here and how it works. I just got it, so and I haven't really played with it yet, but I want to see if it works with the um, project we're going to do today. Okay, there we go. So it's really pretty. I love the look of it. It's so sleek. And this is, um, it's a trimmer and a scoring board. So we'll use that in the project, okay? We love the Elizabeth Craft Designs. Oh, I didn't know they have that. I didn't know they had watercolors, Belinda. Uh-oh, now I need to try that. <laughs> Yeah. So anyway, that I want to try that. Um, one more thing. The Etsy shop is now open. I opened that up last night and an envelope maker and a box maker and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, I think they have it on scrapbook.com. And it's I think until the end of the month is where you can get it. And then after that, it will be everywhere. You must have reloaded 10 times in Facebook. Oh, there's Glum. Oh, Glum. Shoot. Sorry about that. Okay, well, I'm glad you're back. Yes, uh, they are very pretty. And again, I just want to th say thanks to Sharon and to all of you who watched the uh, Created Craft yesterday. I felt like I was just blabbing the whole time. But, you know... They invited me on, <laughs> so that's on them. I really wanted to see Sharon because she does such an amazing job and she only got to do one thing. <laughs> but uh, there was such good reaction to everything. And uh, thank you again for doing that. And uh, if you hopped on and it was fun. It's getting to where it's not too scary, but it's still kind of scary. But uh, yes, they do have it on Rewind, Belinda. Oh, thanks, Amy. Hi, Vivian from Guatemala. Yeah, it, uh, oh, good, you ordered your dyes. Yes, that, that was an amazing price. I could not believe that. That was crazy. Uh, yes, we need that trimmer. Yes. All right, well, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. I do just want to show you um, some little samples that I made of these. We do still have these up on the uh, scrapbook.com. That's the only place you can get them. So I'll show you when we go with the face down. Okay. I did try it, Belinda. I know I was having trouble with the uh, rewind, but yesterday it worked great. And uh, yes, everybody's saying, oh, Ricka, we're so happy to see you. I hope you're doing okay. So nice that you're back. You ordered the bundle too. I know it was a crazy price. Uh, that was, I, I couldn't believe that. It was like you got basically the folder and the mat board for free. I mean, however they figured it out. I'm not good with the pounds. Oh, and the one thing about the trimmer, Charlotta, you're going to love it because it has the uh, centimeters on there. And I'll show you when we get to it. Okay. So let me turn this camera down. This works. Let's hope. All right. Hang on. Uh, I'm going to add. Okay. There we go. All right. Well, it looks like everybody's here. Let me just adjust that a minute. Got my big shot, but that's all right. That's always there. So let me see if this light is any better. It might reflect. All right. Well, we don't have to look at these, but these are the three dies, and then they all work with the card caddy. I know that we went over this like, you know, before I went away, but just in case, hey, there's my daughter, Pam. Hi, Pammy. That is my nurse daughter. I was telling them, Pam, about our trip to uh, Connecticut. So anyway, 
these are the three thinlets that go with the card caddy. So I'm did the pounds are an issue for me too. Otherwise, <laughs> okay, that this is the everyday tags and labels. I really like this one. These uh, Teresita made a really cool ornament out of gold. She cut these out of gold. Oh shoot, it's doing that thing again with the uh, weird lighting. Why does it do that? Oh, there. <laughs> I don't know. Can you guys see all right? Ah, oh, Lord, save me from all this technical. So that's one. And then this one is the Starlet Village. And it looks like this is the one that you guys like the best or whoever was buying them like the best. Yeah, the houses are really fun. And so these are the pieces that come on here just to show what this is like a shadow you know a little bit smaller of the card caddy so it's like a, a mat that goes inside and then these two little villages and you can stack them and then this is the floral silhouettes so these flowers can lay on top of the background and it's just really fun to play with them. So if you haven't gotten them, they're only available over at scrapbook.com. So you can go over there and I can put a link up after the show. So uh, that is that. Now, what I thought I would do is I got this placemat and I think that it was at Walmart, but I can't remember. It could have been, I think it was because it was like $1.99. I think I got it in Connecticut. So I thought it was pretty, and I want to make, it's automatically adjusting for brightness. It goes dark when you have something very white. Yeah, I'm not sure how to fix it either. I got this stupid camera because it is a uh, um, adjustable. It's supposed to automatically adjust. <clears throat> okay, so what I wanted to do was test out my trimmer. And this is white, so let's see what happens. So what I did was, I want to take off the uh, thing. I thought this would help me say where I got it, but I, <laughs> I didn't. Oh, it's good. It's one of those ones that peels off easily. Thank the Lord. I hate those. So I probably can get two journals out of this. Which you do for a shadow of the specimen. Well, it's a little bit different, Leslie, the the pattern is a little bit different but it's the same idea and you could i don't know if you could use it there's an easy way to cut that down though okay it did adjust well, all right so let's see if it cuts plastic let's immediately find out if i'm gonna wreck this <laughs> wait a minute all right so let me just go through from what i understand i have to read the directions i actually have to watch the video but I just wanted to show you I got it. So this here is cool because what you do is you lift this up and this arm here comes down. When you want to use it to score, you do, you know, you start here. So all of the measurements are up there. And then this piece comes out. This is inches. But then all you have to do is flip it over and that's centimeters. So you can see down here these numbers 20 and you know so I just thought that was such a clever way to do it but that's Kevin our engineer at Sizzix he is like the mad scientist he can create anything and then this you can move down to if you want you know I think that helps make envelopes or you know I'm, I'm not sure like I said watch the video because I think Pete did a video and it was really good yeah I just thought what a great idea so um, the first thing I want to do is cut those. So in order to change it into the cutting mode, you just take this, you lift it up and swing this up and then you've got your flat thing here. So this is a, uh, a blade, it's not the rotary. So it's gonna be interesting because you know I love my cutter pillar, but we're gonna see how this measures up. So I'm just lining this up. So I went and I marked six inches because I want to make two covers out of this. I wasn't going to make it, but then I thought, oh, I could try this. Oh, yeah. Cutting like a dream. Yes. I like it already. Oh, that felt really nice. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That is good. 
All right, so that's the answer. Now I could do either side. I kind of like this one. Oh, shoot. I should have gone sideways. Oh, well. That's fine, too. That's pretty. I mean, it's a floral. Who cares? All right, I'm going to... That's not going to bother me. Okay, the other thing that you can do is you can adjust this. So, like, if you want to line this up at 45 degrees, it, you know, kind of clicks in. Um, these little guys up here are for... Uh, this one is a hole punch. That is like an envelope. It kind of cuts, punches a hole. Uh, and I think this one is a corner rounder. So you can also take it out of here and use that. And I did it before and I can't remember how I got it back in. But it comes out. So if you just want to use that in your hand, you can do that too. Yes, it's very, very nice. I know the cutter pillar is good, Karen, but I mean, that's pretty nice. All right. So let's get our big shot out, and we have the die. Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to do was I wanted to finish up this little box. Because like I said, I was doing uh, watercolors to kind of decompress at night, and I kind of liked how that one came out. And I thought, that's cute on the card caddy, and that's going to be used um, for storage. So I don't want to forget about that, but that... That was the cover of it, and I just thought, I am going to tie that in. Don't worry. These are the dies that I used. Okay, this is the folio journal, and I'm going to make, or no, this is not the folio journal. It's the field notes and specimen card die. Okay, that's that one, and then that's the card case. Okay, so I am going to cut two of these, and one little trick that we have to remember and I wrote this on my die, remember, back and front. So I'm going to lay this side down and just figure out which way do I want. Yeah, it doesn't matter, really. All right. This side is pretty, too. Uh, actually, it's not going to matter because this is not going to... I, I want to see what happens with the score lines because I thought this is another way. <laughs> Nothing can work. Okay. Hey, Lisa. Hi, Sharon Curtis. We'll be good for tutorials. I know. That's what I thought, Amy. One less thing on my desk. And that cutter pillar is big, you know? All right. So it cut it and it did score. Okay. That's good. All right. That's one. And I just want a nice, flexible little book for this. I don't need any heavy-duty thing. All right, so that's the, that's the back. So this pattern it really doesn't matter, but just to get used to it. So there's my front. So I'm going to do my front here and roll this through. It's really pretty thin as far as... Uh, placemats go, but I don't need anything heavy. This is going to be a storage container. Hi, Barbara. How are you? I know. It was a pretty one. It, there, some of those are just cheesy, but I did like this. All right. Here's our other one. So let's just put this together really quickly. And Sharon, you did such a good job yesterday, as you always do. All right, I think that's the only thing I'm going to cut. So let's just quickly put this together with the red line tape. And then we will be ready to go. All right. Which one do we like better? I think I like that better for the front. Did not punch out the holes, but you know what? I may not use the holes. I'm just going to go over that with the tape. I'm going to do that crocodile trick where you just put little notches up at the top. And I'm not going to string them through. Mm, actually, no, I might want to. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to use envelopes. And I'm going to make them as inserts for my book. And I think I will want to punch holes like this. So never mind. We will. Um, let's punch them out here. You 
your favorite tape. Oh, thanks, Leslie. Yeah, it, it's good. It's, it's going to be sturdy and it's going to hold this together. I wouldn't put like a glue on here because it's too slick and I think it would keep shifting and I'm not sure if it would dry. So the tape is just the right thing. You always have to think about what is the best adhesive for the job. It's so hard. <laughs> All right, let me get these little, whoa, I just threw my tape off the thing. This is pretty though, you know? But see, the score lines have been scored in here, so. Where can you buy this card? Um, Juliana, do you mean this? This was a placemat that I found in Walmart. I'm pretty sure it was Walmart. But you can find them like in the Dollar Tree sometimes or, you know, just keep your eyes out in discount stores, wherever you are. They do have them in Dollar Tree, but the designs are kind of cheesy. But I did get a really nice sunflower one one time there. Right, this is overlapping, so I'm not sure what's going to happen here when we go to pick these off. And these, I'm just going to do like this. Oops. And this stuff is so strong. So I'm putting my tape on the back side so it wraps around to the front. On here, you probably wouldn't even notice because it's skinny. It's not a thick thickness like matte board would be. I just don't want this coming apart. Okay. All right. Then we're going to have fun with the envelopes. And I do have some samples to show about how I use uh, envelopes in my crafting. But let's just get this together, and then we'll do that. Uh, thank you, Leslie. And Sharon had such a good way. She collected her tape as she went. I was watching her like, oh, good tip. She got them right off. <laughs> they never come off for me. All right, I'm going to go in here first. So that's on top. All right, maybe I'm getting it. So Sharon, that must be so much prep work, doing those shows. Can't imagine. Well, I can kind of imagine from teaching, but you don't have that much time to talk about everything. So you have to just be ready to go. That would be stressful. But Sharon just does it like it's a walk in the park, which is why it's good that she's doing that. So welcome. If we have new watchers from uh, the show, so we usually do get new viewers after uh, there is a Create and Craft show or some kind of event. So uh, welcome. We hope you uh, hang out in the group and get to know everybody, share what you're making. We would love to see. So now I'm just going to line up. I'm going to do a three spiner here. Line up the holes and boom, we're done. Okay, so here's our book. Usually I fold those over before, but I'm going to do it. All right, that one, I might have put that a little close, but now we have a book, okay? So there's our spine. So what we're going to do is, I don't know about you guys. Well, wait a minute. Let me show you the samples. Here are just a couple ideas of ways that you can use envelopes. And I do have a couple bags in here. Those are nice for dimensional, you know, like uh, there's a lot of these $1.97 placemat patterns. Okay, she must be looking. Oh, they stick to you, so I might as well grab them all together. That's true. The prep is a lot of work. Yes. Yeah, you don't get much time. And I like to talk, so forget it. They would be kicking me out of there. But this is a nice little, just a cellophane or a um, glassine envelope that I had. And I put my strips in here. And then I have another envelope. This was like, um, I sewed this one 
and I put more strips in here. I'd like to keep them because sometimes I always have this thought of doing like a mosaic or like a quilt pattern. And so I like to keep these strips and just also so I remember like what did I use. And the back side is pretty. So, you know, there's, I know you can't keep everything, but I, I sure give it a good try. All right. Now here is more storage. I love these little window envelopes because you get that cool crinkly plastic and you can see what's in there. So these are just little bits, you know, that I can use in journals or cards or, or whatever, you know, things that I didn't want to throw out, like the outline of a glitter snowflake and just cute little pieces of paper circles. I could use them for a template or I could, I don't know, whatever they, I, I just keep them. So there's that, but it's just handy to grab that and, you know, tape it up. And I just put some glue down here, cut my window envelope that was just a recycled envelope that you get in the mail. You save your envelopes and use them in junk journals in different ways. Yes. I mean, and here's another one. Now this is, I think this was an envelope that I had, but again, you can fold them so that they're kind of two pockets, you know, and they are cute in journals. And just these little pieces that maybe you cut and you didn't want to get rid of. I mean, that's ridiculous. I need to get rid of these. But I didn't, and here they are. So <laughs> here's another one. Um, this is a bigger one. And this I just glued, I folded it in half. You know, it was a mailing envelope. So I just folded that up, covered up the mailing address, glued and glued, and then folded up. And you have a nice little storage pocket for nothing, you know. Um, here's another one. This is another window envelope. And these are all graphic, or not graphic. These are 49 and Market strips, which are still pretty and kind of bigger pieces. Well, they're a certain length of strip. It holds them in. And then I just took a piece of a glassine envelope here and tucked in, you know, some little, oh, actually, this is good because well, this is what I want to do. I want to have these for my watercolor bits that I, for some reason, rejected. And, you know, I didn't use it at the time, but I have them all in one spot. So I know now where they are. That's Trinity. She's now 17. Look at her little chubby hand. So, you know, that's what these are. And I can see everything that I have. Nice little bookmark. So another reason for envelopes. Here's another one. Now these are getting a little more work because uh, I covered these with book page or washi tape. I think this is washi. It feels like it. And I did put some pattern paper in the back. And this is a piece of embossed paper which is very sturdy so that kind of gives it some shape and then i just folded this up or maybe i glued that on it was a, a similar size and i just put that on so that could go in a journal you know and then this one i covered with paper this is a pain you know getting around that glassine part but they're just cute and this one i just covered it all and then i cut one strip off the end and I can either put it that way or that way, or I could fold it and put it in. Here's another one I did nothing with, but this was uh, some fabric that I got. That I just thought was so pretty. And I painted it with uh, decoupage medium, so it has a shape and it's kind of stiff. And then I die cut it with the um, mini slimline. And I could cut this if I want, but I wanted to keep these pieces together because there were some cute little elements like butterflies and, you know, little flowers and a little deer that I thought was cute that lost his legs, his feet. And I can see what that is by this little mark here, you know, window opening. So one more. This is a another envelope that is also big, and I just backed it with a piece of tea-dyed paper so you don't see this but even that's kind of I mean that's a bank envelope but some of them have pretty patterns you know a lot of like a blue that's supposed to uh, protect your mail from people seeing it doesn't seem that long ago I know Trinity she is so good she's driving well uh, oh shoot I'm supposed to go drive with her this week maybe this weekend 
she wants to get her license. So that, and then this one is one that I made to use in a journal. And this was a challenge for me to just see what is the most envelopes I can put together. So these are all different little envelopes and things that I had, little pieces from dies. And uh, this is like a little coin envelope. And then it opens out and you could write in here. I did a video on this a while ago. And this one has little things inside. And then there's another part to it. I'm trying to figure out how to get it. Um, yeah, here's another one that folds out. And this was just a fun exercise to see how many envelopes I could use. That is like a time card, but you can use anything in here. A little bag and wrapping paper that was a scrap, a little notebook in here, paint chips, some old papers. Uh, then you have to figure out how to put it back together. <laughs> oh, here's another thing. Maybe I did that wrong. Anyway, <laughs> it's fun to go through and say, you know, there's a little flap. I just folded that down, some pretty paper. And it seems like, yeah, then this folds out. <laughs> and then up here, you can stick things down in here. So anyway, there's a lot of room and a lot of fun that can be had with envelopes. So yeah, I have no idea how to put this back. <laughs> all right, something like that. And this holds it all together. This poor little paper clip. So, but this could be a fun insert in a book, as long as you had a thing that you could, a place that you could use for the center to bind it in. But it's a little tall. So what I want to do is make storage for my little pieces here in the journal here. And then I also thought if I had some little ones, I would finish this off. This was one that I made just out of map board for a demo. And I thought I could store the little pieces because I've got the big ones, but then I have all these little pieces that, you know, I'd left over map board. I didn't like how they came out, but I kind of fixed them up a little bit, put a border around it, or I don't know. They're not great, but, you know, I can put them in a journal. So I thought if I used a a little window envelope I could just stick that on here and use this for storage and for here I would have to either put it in like a cellophane bag to keep it from flying out and I would have to make some kind of uh, pocket here so to keep it in because they're just a lot of little pieces and I don't want to do that but I did think this was really pretty for the cover so I want to glue that on before I do anything else that will make me happy so what were, what have you guys been doing? Have you had a great summer and gone places and done stuff? I hope so. I almost got to see Mary Callen up in, uh, it's going to happen one of these days, Mary. She's up in Connecticut right near my daughter. Um, it's strange that we don't get any, any older, even if they do. It's very weird. <laughs> I know. So this is, yeah, I think that's cute. I do want to finish that. So what I might do is remember that wax finish that I got? I may paint that over or I may just decoupage it, but I like the white, but I want to protect it so it doesn't get dirty. So that's that. Okay. So now let's get our envelopes out and see what we're going to use here. Now this is a big one. And these I get every month, like five of them. So I like them because sometimes they have huge window openings. But what I like to do is just take the envelope and it doesn't matter, you know, size, it, it, it all works. And I'm going to stagger them. They're going to be all different sizes. Um, yes, age is merely a number. It's true. Finally got wrist brace off. Yay, Carrie, that's great. Oh, there's Mary. <laughs> I didn't even know you were here, Mary. 
All right, we're, we're going to have to have a party when it finally happens. We'll do a live and we'll have everybody there. You have been stewarding at your Stitchers group exhibition. Oh, that's great, Dorothy. Okay, so what we're going to do is use these as pockets. There's a couple ways you can do it. You can either glue this down and cut a hole here, cut an opening so you can slide things in. And I might want to do that for some of them. These are, this is not a window one. So, you know, I may just use this for the little pockets here. Okay. And then what I would do is put my elastic in here and then I'm either going to stitch it in or I'm going to string it. And, you know, if I do elastic, then I can loop this under. I'm going to make insert books out of these. Okay. So here's one. And they're all going to be different sizes. I'm not going to worry about, you know, fitting, you know, making it look perfect. Some are going to be longer. Some are going to be shorter. Um, let's see what else we have here. You can even get, like, pretty ones. Like, I love my friend PA's writing. So, you know, and that's a pretty stamp. You could use that. That one might be a little bit big, but... You know, you could even glue that on the back of the book and reuse it. I don't know. You could fold that one in half. That would be pretty. So, you know, you could chop that off and just or tuck this in. Actually, that would strengthen it and cover that with a little washi. Let's just do that so I feel like I'm doing something. Let me find this is pretty. Doesn't really go, but this is this is functional. This is not to be pretty. Although you could make a pretty one too. And if you wanted to tape that down, you know, or glue this down, you could, but I don't think it's going anywhere. So there's that, and that will hold things. And if you put that in your spine you know you have pockets on either side so there's one <laughs> we have one done let's see how tall that is pretty tight so what you could do is chop this top part off too and have that as other pockets i'm not gonna bring my trimmer over i'm just gonna cut that with scissors but i don't want to cut my envelope off because i really like that i mean it's the stamp so see, now you have, in, you know, one, two, three, four pockets, okay? And it's a little shorter. Not much, but uh, what else? You know, there's short ones. What I would like, because this is kind of a long book here, you know, and the benefit of these envelopes is you can fold it either way. Like, you can fold it in half. But you could also stagger it like we did with this one. Wait, that one's the same. <laughs> it's already getting crazy here. I want to find some... Oh, now here's one. Okay, I think I started this. So here's what you can do with this one. What I like to do is use this flap if it didn't get torn. Because sometimes they do if you keep them. Um, hi, Flora. Yeah, good to see you. We had some uh, technical issues, so we didn't start exactly on time. And we may not go too long, but who knows. So these will keep your stuff inside. And I did do my little thing here so I can not have to do this uh, needle every time. So this can go in either way. So let's see what we have so far. We have that. We have this. So together, you know, when we attach the center, however we do it, either with elastic or we stitch it in, you know, we can have it so it doesn't go past there. So let's see. This might be a good one. And some you might just want to use as... Uh, at, an envelope and cut this off you know tuck this in you could lick it and close it too 
but this way you don't have to make a slit or anything and it's still reinforced so just to do one that's sticking out a little you know just make sure it'll fit okay but look at this one this is like a great one because this is a big window so you can see a lot of stuff in there and again it doesn't have to be i would rather use that whole window instead of folding exactly in half so you know these really can go together and the other thing that i like is this is all recycled you know what i do is when i open the mail i just have a pile where all of those envelopes whether they were the outer or the inner and you get when people want money like you know red cross we do a lot of that online we don't need the envelope but why throw out the envelope when you can use it for storage or organization or in a junk journal so now this one i may close because i don't want that piece coming down in here so let's do one like that where we're just gonna you could even use a glue stick but i have my glue right here so i would just close that up and then i am going to go over to my trimmer and just do a very quick little opening at the top actually you know what i think this one i'm going to go down this way so let's, let's see where we are on here this might be a nice one for the front so we could wrap that around Let's see where that lands up. All right, so this is shaping up. And then, so we would have to, uh, yeah, we could go on the side here. So I can just, this is killing me not to use a trimmer, but I don't think I need one. These are not the best scissors, though. All right, so yeah, this is a nice little pocket. If you want to add paper in here, you can, but I'm just going to be adding little watercolor things like this so I can see what's in there. And I might want to sort according to, you know, my pink flowers in here, my purple ones in there. You know, it's cute. All right, let's do. All right, this one we made to go. We didn't do anything with this one. So hmm. this is kind of messed up. So I'm just going to glue that down with my glue stick. I could use the glue, but all right. So that I'm not going to use this as a pocket. I'm just going to use this side. Let's use these scissors. And the other thing I can do if I want is just take some scrap paper or book pages. Those work really well or like gift wrap and cover this, you know, and just kind of mark that and trim that out. Or you could take washi and go up to the edge. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's kind of a nice little, that's a big size because I have some that are huge and that might have to be this kind of envelope where uh and this is from my mom and vince you know they got all these things so the, you know these again would make a nice little journal and just i got one of my i got my cinch i don't know if i told you but i could make a nice little book out of my cinch here okay have you ever smashed the beer caps flat with big shot i put those in your journal Ulrika has done everything. She is an amazing artist. Um, the beer tasted horrible, but the labels are pretty. Well, you have to salvage them. All right, is that one? That one looks like. And then if you want to do the thumb holes, you can. I don't know where my punch is. Right. Oh, wait a minute. Let me use... Uh, I just happen to have one if I can figure out how to get it out of here. Anybody know? 
Do I twist it? All right. Well, let's see if I, I could maybe feed it in here. Wait a minute. I think I turned this weird. I, I did take it out to play with it. <laughs> I'm such a bad demonstrator. I should have done this before. Well, maybe that is that is the corner punch, I think. Let's see. Yes. Okay. It's not the it's not the rounder, it's the square, like a tag punch. All right, maybe that one doesn't come out. Anyway, that's cool. All right, well, and this one I think would. That's the circle, yeah. All right, well, let's use that and see what happens. Yeah. All right, we've got a little, it doesn't want to go through both. There we go. Oh, it's a hole punch. Never mind. Don't listen to me. I have to get familiar with this tool. If you're here from Sizzix, don't be mad at me. <laughs> Push up. I've got a mini cinch. Yes. Inside and I mean hardcover. Ooh. <gasps> oh, glum. All right, I gotta try that. I brought it up with me, but I just never got the chance to get it out. All right. Well, anyway, this should be. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me get my thing. It's right here. You know this thing. It does help get things out. You know, it's easier to pull stuff out. So, let's do one here too. So I'm just really messing around, but you guys see what I'm talking about, right? And I think this is going to be a really functional little book. So where's that big one? I wanted to put that on the cover. All right, well, we have a giant mess here. Remember that one? It was like the big... I don't know how we could use this in here unless we kind of, you know, it could fold up like that, right? Why not? Yeah, that's not too big. All right, let's see what we have here. So just mix and match them, you know, and let's trim. I'm just going to trim this. Yep. Boy, that's going through with no problem at all. Oh, all right. Wait a minute. Okay. Oh, well, that's interesting. I must have uh, cut the sides. I don't like that. All right, well, you have to mess around a little bit. <laughs> and if I don't want that like that, I'm just going to make a nice little line of glue here and we'll glue it up like it was. All right. All right, you're talking about bottle caps, beer caps. All right, I still don't know what I did with that nice big opening one that I wanted to put on the cover, but kind of like this idea. Gluing this one down, I could even make this a pocket. All right, don't mind me, I'm just playing with my envelopes here. And you know what? If you mess it up, who cares? It's an envelope. There's like 20 million more in the mail headed your way. So don't worry about it if you mess it up or it doesn't work. So look at this. That's fun. And you have a little pocket here. And you can fold it in. And this all could be covered and made to look pretty, you know, if you had some nice scraps of paper. 
All right, so let's uh, let's put this together here. And did we do? Yeah, we did the one that had. No, we don't want have one that has the. Yeah, here's the one with the pocket. Okay, so that's one thing. We've got this pretty little one pocket, two pocket. This tiny little one, that could be, you know, you could cut a hole here or, yeah, you know, an opening. Cut an opening here or tuck, yeah, tucking in there. This can hold something in here. This folds out. That's kind of fun. And you can tuck it up here. You have a pocket in here. So if it's a weird size or something, you have in here. So that has a lot. And you have this one, you have this one, which is probably easier to put it in that way. And is this open? Yeah, no, so let's cut this one. So this is a lot of storage, guys. So all right, let's. So how we can do this is, you have covered them with washi tape. You always like the tuck spots. Yeah, they're fun. I think the kids would really like this. The size of the circle punch. Um, this one is a one inch, but it depends on the size that I'm using. I have a one and one eighth. They're about the same. Um, and you know, if it's a big thumb notch on a big piece. If it's a small one, I might use a three quarter. So it's whatever I can find. Twist and pull on those punches. Okay, I'll look at it again. I will do a better, <laughs> well, I'll be using it. All right, so what we can do is find the center, which would be right here. And if we wanted to line this up and bind it into the book, we would just follow these holes here, and I think I have, no, I didn't do it. I, What I was thinking to use as a binding guide is to just cut out this strip, and then you would know exactly where these holes are, and so you could use that as a guide to punch the holes in your insert books. So I would probably get this little thing here, and just... I'm going to line this up. Just make sure you have it the way you want it. You know, these could be centered, they could be however you like. Just know I'm going to find that one that I wanted to put in here. And it will not, this might be it. Yes, there we go. All right, so let's let's just mark it. This is so bad. But you get the idea. Okay. And then I would just take some um, thread, you know, and just tie that right into the binding here. And you have this fun little book that can hold your ephemera. And it's pretty and has lots of pockets. And you could even write on it or journal in it. <laughs> Belinda, it's a disaster. But... You know, what's the fun thing is to think about putting these little shapes inside so then you know where they are. They're kind of protected, but you can kind of see them. And that is a big one. I think I'm going to chop that off. I don't like that flower. 
yeah i don't think that's gonna fit but you could do like your leaves in here you know and then there's little ones too and that's where i was thinking for like another one of these pocket envelopes that have the little window just fun to play with you know you can see they're in here and there's another nice little pocket so and this one is protected you know and you could you would have to cut like a little slit here if you tied that in so you could open each side and you could have velcro if you wanted but anyway guys that is <laughs> i am exhausted <laughs> I can't take the stress of this stupid electronics. It's too much. I just want to play with my watercolors and put them in their little little homes. <laughs> These are some others. This was a fun one. I was practicing. I was trying to get the pattern down. You know, it's harder than it seems that it should be. But And this was a new kind of flower and new kind of, like, blobby leaves and... That one, I wouldn't, I just had a scrap of paper, so I was just practicing the, the shapes. But then there were some other little, oh, this one came out pretty good. I don't want to squish it. Wait a minute. Wow. You know, I tried like a light and a dark, and I think that looks kind of cool. So I'm still experimenting, still having fun. Got my watercolors run over, but got more so now I have a fun little book to keep these in when I and then at night when I just have no brain left over I just sit and cut them and it drives me crazy honestly because I would rather die cut them but they don't fit <laughs> so you know sometimes you just have to use the old scissors so I'm using these ones I don't know where they came from they're old but they work great some some guys like some people like the uh, cutter bees, you know. But I think those are good. And uh, anyway, that's that's what I have today. Well, thank you, Flora. And Flora, you have such a good name. You should try some watercolors. Flora is a beautiful name. So I want to um, make a bunch of these because I have tons of envelopes. I mean, I'm to the point where really. I need to throw them out. It's ridiculous. I have too many. But if I can use them and it just they go quick, uh, I think I'm just going to make some more and fill them up with my fun little watercolors and look through like a little scrapbook of watercolors. And um, that's all I need. <laughs> really need to get your paper collection at launched. <laughs> oh, thank you. You have a dozen pair of scissors you switch between. They look like scissors that can't. Yeah, they could be, Leslie. They are Fiskers. I have these, and then I have those that I, I think I took from a, a trade show one time. I didn't mean to, but they both work really well. Um, what else? Yes, I love the idea of recycling envelopes too. It's just very satisfying, and you know, there's so many different ones, and then you just get when you get one like this, it's like whoa, and you could even, you know, like. When I store all my little things, you know, my little papers and stuff, you can just cut this down and use it right as an envelope. Even if you mess up the top, it doesn't matter, you know. Um, oh, thanks for being here. I am happy to be here. I, I feel like I'm, things, the world is just not right if I don't come and say hi to you guys and check in and see how everything's going. And yeah, it's fun. Maybe you'll be, oh, that would be pretty. Yes, I have done. And I've also tea dyed some. And they come out pretty good too, Belinda. Um, the glue is a little weird. You know, you have to watch. You get, when, you, when you dry them, you have to let the glue flap um, open because otherwise it'll stick. Oh, good, Ulrika. You, yeah, get going, Ulrika. We want to see your ideas. We have missed you. But I get it. You know, stuff happens sometimes and you just... Your brain isn't where 
where it always wants to go. And you have other stuff. I know I've had that too. So when we can be together, we're just happy. So uh, what else? Oh, well, you're welcome, Birgit. Happy to be with you guys. You guys inspire me too. And you make me uh, accountable. <laughs> like, uh-oh, it's Wednesday night. I better get an idea for what I'm going to do tomorrow. And it makes me do things. So I'm happy that, you know, we all help each other and we all inspire each other. And it's just nice to hang out with you guys and, um, and be here. And when you're not here for two weeks, you really miss it. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So I'm going to go. Thanks for hanging in, guys. And uh, we'll see you next time. That will be on Tuesday. And I'm trying to think if we have any events coming up. We do, but I'm just not sure what they are. I'll put them in the fan club. If you guys haven't been um, over the fan club lately, go ahead over check it out, see what's there, post what you're doing. We want to see what you're making. I love that. Even on vacation when I didn't really have time, I would look in the morning and at night. So thank you, everybody. See you on Tuesday, okay, if not sooner. All right, bye.